Good morning, guys. Bill McMillan here with you on AndyWX.com. Saturday morning, April 11th, just before Easter Sunday here with your quick cast. And uh, this mid-level high, this mid and high level cloud deck, if I could speak this morning, really wrecked havoc on temperatures overnight. Uh, well above guidance. And uh, the positive to that, though, is that we were able to avoid any sort of frost or freeze across most of Indiana. You can see this nicely with this morning's temperatures. Uh, this is at 8 o'clock, the 8 o'clock observations here uh, Saturday morning with uh, at least the western half of the state in the low 40s, low to mid 40s at that. And uh, a lot of guidance had temperatures uh, down into the low and mid 30s uh, for this time, this time yesterday and even as early as um, last night. Uh, but those mid and high level clouds uh, moved in and, as you can see, resulted in much warmer temperatures compared to guidance at least. Still chilly across eastern portions of the state and certainly across Ohio and down into the Tennessee Valley uh, with freeze and frost uh, in play down in this part of the country. But um, at least for us, we were able to avoid it. That won't be the case, unfortunately, as we go into the upcoming work week. We're dry for most of today despite those clouds. Some showers will arrive in here late this evening and tonight. Uh, those won't be a big deal. I think most of our Easter Sunday uh, will feature uh, precipitation-free skies. But as we go into Sunday evening and Sunday night, that's when better chances of showers and thunderstorms will return as a strong uh, Easter storm system moves into the central portion of the Ohio Valley and into the Great Lakes region. We still need to be mindful that I think the potential is there for at least the central and east central portions of the Ohio Valley to deal with some severe weather. Uh, some of the higher resolution guidance is showing that here with a strong line of thunderstorms uh, moving into uh, far southeastern Indiana and uh, what may be eventually uh, central portions of Ohio late tomorrow into tomorrow night. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Uh, rain will exit the area. Uh, at least across central Indiana, early Monday morning. It should be out of here before sunrise on Monday. The Storm Prediction Center continues to include southern and southeastern portions of Indiana in a slight risk of severe weather. I would agree with this. If anything, this may be nudged a bit further northeast with uh, future updates. Uh, the big story remains this uh, uh, concern for the potential, at least, of long track and significant tornadoes across the deep south and again, would encourage you, if you have friends or family in this part of the country, to give them a call today and just make sure they're aware of the uh, weather situation that lies ahead. Rainfall totals uh, with this storm system for most of immediate central Indiana should fall somewhere between about a half inch and three quarters of an inch. But where that line of thunderstorms tracks, that's where you'll see locally heavier amounts uh, potentially as, as much as uh, a couple of inches in spots. I think that will be primarily confined off to our southeast, uh, speaking to the bulk of central Indiana, but we'll certainly keep a very close eye on it. And as we go on to Monday, the big story becomes much cooler and windy weather. I think winds will gust 40 to 50 miles per hour as this big storm system wraps up to our north during the day Monday, and that'll help pull much colder air in here and it sets the stage for the potential as a weak disturbance scoots along here the middle part of the week for some rain and snow across central Indiana and the Ohio Valley. Guys, make it a great Saturday, and we'll talk with you soon.